reviews for Street Fighter VI are in, getting mostly positive reviews on Open Critic, getting an 89 out of 100 by PC Gamer, 9 out of 10 by IGN, and a 4 out of 5 by Eurogamer. However, it's kind of been tainted because horrendous DRM de novo was added just days before the launch, decreasing performance of the game. And um, might <laughs> why companies do it, I don't know, because it really doesn't take people to crack it, and all it does is decrease performance. So, come on, Capcom, you're you know you're gonna make crap tons of money. So, um, yeah. And then Diablo 4 also received a lot of good reviews on Open Critic, getting a nine out of ten from IGN, a five out of five from Games Radar Plus. 8 out of 10 by uh, GameSpot, so getting pretty good reviews. Now, I've looked at the Force Gaming overview kind of review. I kind of skimmed it um, to get an idea of what he thinks, and from what I can tell, it looks pretty good. Um, it Just note that there are um, stores and stuff like that in the game. As far as I can tell, it's not pay to win like the previous Diablo game was, um, but it is cosmetics, which some would say is fine, but when these cosmetics are costing you about $20 on the, the higher end so far for a game that costs you 70 I think that's pretty gross. Well, right now might be a great time to live in Chinese territories. Because according to PC Gamer, McDonald's has a tie-in Tetris chicken nugget toy exclusive to the Chinese market that looks like it's going for sale in Western countries for about $20.45, or only $4.24 in its region, so, you know, if you're in, if you're in China and that's still available, may, maybe check that out. Major emulator Dolphin it <laughs> has had some interesting problems this week, with Nintendo filing, essentially filing a DMCA against them. Now, they did this in a very peculiar way by going directly to Steam as opposed to going to the emulator providers themselves. The reason they did this is because the Dolphin emulator was going onto Steam, and if you go onto the store page, it doesn't look like it's coming anymore. So, what was the problem? Well, the Dolphin emulator uses a specific set of keys, in order for it to get past the 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 game's DRM for the GameCube and the Wii. So they told everyone this, and that's um Yeah, that that's not good. <laughs> Cause it you know, getting around the DRMs, the kind of, you know, usually the illegal side of uh, this, but Let's face it, it really is just an effort to stem emulation on the Steam Deck. Because Nintendo is Nintendo and refuses to re-release old games for some reason, even though they would make bank. I just don't under... I really don't understand the strategy. It just makes no sense. Well, we've had a plethora of free games released. These are some of the highlights. We have... Tuck Tuck Extreme Simulator and Escape from Police available on Indie Gala. Also, a couple other games on there that is IndieGala.com. We also have a very narrative based game, Tell Me Why, for free on Steam until the 1st of July. So you have it all month long for free. Now this game was offered free, I believe at release, and I believe Microsoft has had it for free on their um, their Xbox um, application on the PC. 
So it's not the first time this has been free, but hop on it if uh, if you're interested. Um, you know, for a free game is a free game. And then we also have Midnight Ghost Hunt for free on Epic Game Store until June the 8th. So you gotta really hop on on that. They're not leaving that for long. Looks like they've decreased the length of time that their their stuff is available for free about four days as opposed to the um, about a week that it used to be available for. And then, of course, we have a bunch of other free games on Steam. Free-to-play game uh, Quasimorph was released the 31st of May on Steam. It may be available on other applications, but, you know, this is just where I found it. Midnight Witch, which is a psychological horror visual novel, is also free-to-play on Steam, then we have Homicipher Prologue available on Steam. And also notable free-to-play Mobile Suit Gundam Battle Operation 2 released the 30th of May to mostly negative reviews. And if you watched my video that I released yesterday about it, you'll kind of understand why out of 7,446 reviews in the past few days, only 20% of them have been positive and with good reason. Now, this game has been out on the PlayStation consoles for a few years now, but it is new to the PC market and the PC market is not liking it. And it looks like that's going to be it for today. So we're going to keep an eye on video game news this week and report back to you next Sunday. See you there.